All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at heat one of my race at Daytona Kart Week in 206 Junior. This is gonna be, we're gonna have a lot of content from Daytona Kart Week coming up. We have all the heats and pre-finals from 206 and KA to go into. So, warming up these tires here on the warm-up lap. And it was very cold this morning, so we are going to try and get as much heat as humanly possible into the tires without overheating them. Just to try and get them into a decent temperature window so we won't have no grip at the start of the race. Now, this week for Daytona Car Week, it was a crazy week. We had so much good action, and I'm excited to release all this content to you guys. So... Coming into this final section of the track, getting ready to line up for the start. We're starting 16th in this race after qualifying. We, we have been top 10 all weekend. We just slightly misjudged the conditions in qualifying and didn't put the right gear on, but we know we have pace. So we're gonna try and gain as many positions off the start and then continue to gain positions through the race. So lining up here, rounding the final corner and now we're all going to stack up on each other's bumpers try to get right up to his bumper so we don't get a bad start and yeah so we're going to get into the tram lines here and we're going to put the power down and then you can see everybody put their hand in the air but the start got waved off so we're going to go around one more time and yeah so we will cut to now where this is the actual start. We did get the green flag this time, so into the tram line for the second time. And green, green, green. As now we put the pedal to the metal and we are into turn one, just trying to hang, hang around the outside and not get pushed off. As we drop the wheel slightly into turn two, but since we were getting squeezed, it wasn't that bad. As you can see, two people self-destruct there and then our teammate gets pushed off slightly so we've already gained three positions with doing by doing absolutely nothing which is good for us and now we need to focus on gaining on the 411 up ahead as you can see they're fighting and now they've slotted into line and then they really stack up into these two corners and as you can see we gain a good few cart lengths there and now coming into the final corner we want to try and get as best run as we can. Unfortunately, we do get a little bit of oversteer and just a bit of a snap, but all good as now they're battling again. And so we're able to gain right back up to the rear bumper. Unfortunately, the leading pack has broken away slightly, but we still have quite a bit of laps to gain back up to that. I'm just trying to focus on passing these guys as quickly as possible as two cards ahead get together slightly and we get to go the inside of both of them but then the guy on the outside hangs it around the outside and now we get freight trained on the inside we lose one two and another spot so that's unfortunate but it's all right it's still early in the race so there's still room for improvement as now we're going to cut to later in the race a couple laps later where now we're right on the rear bumper of the 48 we're going to look for the move and we can't quite get it. And now we're gonna have bad momentum because we pinched off that entry. And as you can see, our teammate who got forced off earlier in the race is now coming back through. And um, yeah, he was the one who got forced off into turn four and we had just passed. So he had been running right behind us the pretty much the whole race at this point. So now he wanted to try and um, have a go at it. So I was like, all right, I'll let him try because I had had not much success up to this point. And now as we go down the back straightaway, you can see we just didn't quite have the acceleration in this race that we needed, but it's all right because we, we still had really good pace. And um, also apologies for the bad camera angle. As the race went on with all the bumps on the track and how loose we set the camera, we didn't quite tighten it up enough and so it kept moving around. So apologies for the bad camera angles, but now our teammate went through. We weren't quite close enough to go for a move, but we're gonna try and have a little peek here. 
we're going to try and force him into a mistake. He does make a slight mistake. As you can see, he went a bit wide, but he was able to cover it off. So now I'm just finding a good opportunity to set up a move here on the number 48. Down the back straightaway here. He gets a little bit of a snap on the exit. So we're going to try and go for it into turn one. Get a good run out of the final corner. And he gets a bad one, which is good for us. As we're going to fake to the outside, he's going to somewhat block it, but then he tries to set up and I don't know if he realized that we were there or something, but either way, the door opened and we went for it. So now we're going to focus here on the 411 and try and get past him as quickly as possible. As you can see, our teammate's doing really well. He's already up two spots, so we're going to try and follow his lead by doing that as well. As this back section, I felt like throughout the whole weekend was just the hardest section because not only was it a deceleration zone in like a long corner, but also if you didn't get a good run out of that final chicane onto the back straightaway, you were pretty much messed up all the way until turn one. So we're going to look for it here into turn one because we did get a good run out of there, but we weren't quite close enough and we didn't quite have enough momentum. But he does dip a wheel there and we're going to go up the inside into turn three and get that move done. And now we're going to focus to our teammate and that other card up in front. And now as I see them, they're going to start battling slightly and our teammate's going to start faking the inside to maybe try and spook him off the apex slightly and to get a good run. So I'm just hoping that them battling will help me bring the, me back into this fight for it was eighth at the time. And as we get a good run out of that final corner, we come to about three to go here. And I'm just trying to hit my marks, be smooth. I looked behind me and I saw that the cars behind started fighting as well. So I was pretty much in the middle of nowhere and I just needed to set good consistent laps to try and catch these two up ahead. So now coming on to the first of two back straightaways, you can see our teammate just slightly narrower than the guy trying to maybe force him into an error or maybe make him think that he's going for an overtake. And again, just trying to get a good run onto this straightaway so we don't get absolutely swarmed by the cards behind who do have a draft in our bump drafting. Get a good run out of the final corner. And now coming to two to go here. And as you can see, the card ahead started turning in just slightly early, earlier than my teammate, which caused them to slow down quite a bit. And it's good for me though, because I was able to start gaining a lot more than I was. And if he had started defending, I don't think with two laps, I would have been able to get anywhere near them really. So now you can see just how much we've gained in only this half a lap as now again trying to get a really good run onto this back straightaway. As you can see he's turning in slightly early just to defend the position. And now we get a really good run out onto the straightaway. As you can see our teammate's gonna think about the move, but he's gonna tuck right back into line. And now coming onto the final lap, I know that if the guy ahead defends, which he does, we can definitely get right up a rear bumper and try to go for an overtake towards the end of the lap as coming into turn three here for the final time again just trying to be smooth and i can visibly see that i'm gaining quite a bit again apologies for the camera angle but you're going to be able to see my teammate he's going to go duck out and go for the move and now they're side by side coming into this back section our teammate's going to go for a really good switchback but unfortunately it doesn't quite work out for him and we're going to get a really good run now onto this back straightaway and they're both, or the leaders, or not the leader, but the guy ahead is going to defend. And our teammate goes slightly wide on exit, and we're going to have a drag race to the line. And we just barely edge him out. And by the end of the race, we had finished in ninth position. And so, for starting 16th, that was pretty good, just for a heat. So thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.